Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winters Mister and this is my first ever video and this will be the first of hopefully many. Um, as you probably heard by now, I am not a um, English speaking man. No, what? No, what? No, I am not. I am a Norwegian and English is my second language um, so hopefully this will work out so please bear with me. Um, now, why should I make Skyrim mod videos? Well, let me tell you. Skyrim is the game in my heart. There's no game uh, better than Skyrim in my heart, in my opinion. Um, and some would actually say that Skyrim is going a little bit downhill. Um, it is sort of, uh, especially also the mod community, people are sort of getting bored of it. And I would say on the contrary. A lot of activity is still going on on the Nexus, and a lot of old mods get um, revisited and get new, gets new, updated. Um, just look at immersive armors. Um, just lately, uh, now this is a show that tries to show you some of those mods, and also tries to show you new mods and old, good old mods, mods that I cannot play without. I am a really enthusiatic um, Skyrim um, gamer and I love modding my game. I can't play Skyrim vanilla. <laughs> um, so, this is me showing off some of my mods, some of my recommendations to you guys. Um, and today I'm going to cover only one mod. Only one mod. Uh, that is because I want to start off uh, sort of nicely. I want to start off a little bit uh, slow. And the mod I'm going to cover today is a probably the first mod I ever installed. Um, I actually installed it via the Steam Workshop, which is the only mod I've ever installed via Steam Workshop. Um, and it is a what I would classify, I probably said this already, but it's one of those mods I would classify as essential. Let's just look at this scenario. You're in a dungeon, you see this big fat chest full of loot with this big ebony axe worth a lot of gold. And you take it and you find out that you get this little message up in the corner says you're carrying in a, too much to be able to run. What you do, you gotta you gotta really, you have to drop stuff. That is the only way. Now, this mod solves that. The, this mod is called Bandelier Bags and Pouches and it does exactly what the name suggests. It adds bandoliers, bags and pouches. Also satchels, vial holders and uh, book holders. Now, as you see on my character here, he is fitted up with both bandoliers and pouches. And all of these adds uh, a bonus to your carry weight. They're very easy to make, they're very easy to get. Um, they're very... you can actually get them from the start. Uh, and as I'm scrolling down here, showing you all the different things you can do, all the things you can uh, make, uh, there are three types. There are the black ones. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit mo uh, more about them in a second. The brown ones, which were, are the standard ones, and there are the pale ones. And the pale ones, uh, the, these um, are sort of, they're, they're grey, and yeah, the brown is brown, and black is black. Now, there's something special about the black ones, because you have to make black dyed leather. Uh, I'll tell you a little, about, uh, a little bit about that in a second, but let's just go through uh, this hair. As you see here, you see the leather bandolier, and you can see what it what it requires for you to make. It is basically leather and um, leather strips. That is all you need to make these items. Um, some of them, uh, like the bandoliers, often and some of the pouches, requires a sort of buckles. I will get through that in a second. But all these mods gives you a little bonus to uh, your carrying capacity. Um, the pouches often give you 50, as you see here. The pale uh, box pouch uh, gives you, f it should be 50. Um, some of them give you 50, some give you 40, some give you 60. It's a little bit, but uh, the ones I prefer gives you 50. And uh, you can get six of them, the, the box pouches. They go around your entire belt. 
and 50 times 6, there's 6 of them, that means you have 300, uh, 300 carry weight capacity from the start. This is assorted buckles. You'll need this making some of the, uh, of the bandoliers uh, and uh, items. And this is basically just steel ingots. So, uh, you can say it's a little bit expensive, but still, you gi it gives you about 50, uh, no, 100 carry weight. And I think that's worth it. And this is how you make the uh, black dyed leather. Just uh, frostbite po poison and leather. That is all you need, and you ma then you make uh, the black ones. Uh, and that is basically it for the crafting. Um, these all, is they're very cheap. They, you get them very early on. And there's no perk required to make them. There's nothing to sort of requires you, only the the items. Now, as you see here, this is the textures, and they are pretty vanilla. Uh, that is not a bad thing. That is actually a pretty good thing. I see many mods that is not vanilla. That's pretty bad textured. And this is actually a very very good textured um, pouch. Now, where did where did they come from? Why do they look so vanilla-ish? And that is because they're taken uh, from the Thieves Guild armors. The black ones are from the Guildmaster armor, the brown ones are from the Thieves Guild armor, and the pale ones are from the... Uh, I don't remember actually what are the armors that is, but uh, if you go to the Thieves Guild, you'll meet a person called Vex, and she will be wearing one of those armors. Now, it's not just pouches and bandoliers. You will uh, see satchels, as you see here. Uh, sort of Indiana Jones satchel, uh, they are really nice, and they all give, um, besides being functional, they also look nice. So if you are a mage, and you miss that little pouch that you have on your, on your, on your sort of mage, um, mage clothes, you can get it here too. This is small pouches, uh, which can also work uh, nicely. They're a little less carrying capacity um, bonus than the uh, other ones, but they look nice, I gotta admit that. Um, and I've used them, uh, so yeah. This is the vial holders. These are very, very mage uh, look alike, and they sort of looks like potions that you have stuffed on on your body, which is really, really nice. It gives you that mage feel. Um, that sort of, if you're a mage, then this mod perfectly fit for you because of that. And also the book holders, you have that. You probably, are, maybe you are a cleric, or if you are a mage, you have this book on you. Really, really, really nice. And the amount of what you can see here, I'm not going to show you all of it, but the combination, you can really make some really nice uh, characters out of this by combinating book holders, satchels, bandoliers, pouches, uh, bags, all of this, and you can make some pretty menacing characters. Um, this is a very, very bad example, but it is one. Um, sort of like a barbarian type. <laughs> um, but you get the point, you can really get um, some really nice um, ways to do this. And I perf I recommend this mod to all of you guys. May uh, if there's a mod, this is a very simple mod, uh, make it and uh, look at it. And uh, it's very easy to install, it, it all is on the mod page. So uh, go ahead, click and download the mod. Now that was all for this time guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did, and I hope that it can be more of these, but it all depends on you. Subscribe, uh, click like, and tell me what can I do down in the comments. Bye-bye. And uh, farewell to you guys.